At the moment, I don't really have anyone to juggle George with. He has been diagnosed as needing two full-time carers, and now it's just one person really trying to do the work of two. Can I take the walking stick? Can no. I be an old woman? No. Okay, and we'll go for a walk. I don't want to see nobody. Okay then, that's fine. When I get to the point where I can't take any more, I haven't got someone to say, hey listen, just take George for an hour for me, will you? And I just go for a walk and calm down. It just builds up, and I know there has been times where I've actually got him out of the car and said that's it and left him on the side of the road crying, screaming, howling and you'll go just a few metres down the road and you think oh I can't do that, how cruel <laughs> and you end up reversing back and he just gets in the car and still gives you a mouthful for leaving him there not even stopping to think what he did to make you like that you can have a shower this afternoon today no. Yep. No. I'm not having a shower now. No, you're not having a shower now. There's no time. I know that there have been situations that have really just pushed me over the edge sometimes. Yeah, that crab is no good. They are good. They've got the button long, see? Yeah, no, they'll be fine. No, no. She arrived here. It was late Friday afternoon, I recall in tears saying what am I going to do he's just so difficult I, I can't manage him I'm, really quiet. I'm wondering how much longer can I live with this pressure for how much longer can I take the criticism because with George it doesn't matter what you do for him a lot of the time he complains it's never good enough I mean he has his good days but for the last few months I've had more bad days than good days with him I want to wear that one. No, because you're cold. You wear that oh, one. Oh, wear that one. Sit. He's going to respite on Tuesday for two weeks to give us both a break. And I'm going to reanalyse the whole situation when he comes back. He might be a lot better when he comes home. He might be a lot more settled. Well, and I'm, back. I'm not really sure what, what I'll do when he comes back. I keep on my own. They don't talk to me, or well, they, they don't want to talk to me, I don't talk to them. Well, they don't talk to me, or they don't want to talk to them. I think it will be very important to have these breaks from George if I'm going to continue to look after him. Just to have that little time away for myself to just revive and 
have a break, some time out and um, stop me from hitting the wall, I think. My dad would read me a story of a night on this, on this flat. Yeah. I am still making the effort to come and see him because I think he still needs to be reassured that I'm here and that I'm not deserting him. I think that's his deep down fear is that he's going to be abandoned. So by just popping in, it lets him know that I'm still here, I'm still around. Oh, I like to be home. He's aware of where he is, and I don't think he likes being in here, because he told Brian he was in jail. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Georgie. What are you watching, eh? Tennis. Tennis? Yeah. You got a hug for me? No. No? No. Oh, I'm watching tennis. Oh, can I turn it off? No, why? So I can talk to you. No. Come on, you show me how you can use it. No, you show me. Go on, show me. No. Go on. No. Oh, you're a sport. You're a sport. You're a sport my old day. You were saying to me you wanted me to come up. I don't want my old day to say to You said, come up tomorrow, I want to see you. No. Don't you want to see me? No. Don't you want a hug? No. Don't you want a lolly? No. Oh, okay. Do you want to stay here? Yeah. Oh. I miss you. I don't miss you. Oh, Georgie. You've got Alex, you've got Brian. But they're not George. And you've got Lot, and you've got. You've got uh, I've, only got, I've only got one George. Well, I'll come out and watch you too. You're going to watch to see that I really go. Yeah, that I'm being complete. <laughs> 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 well, I'm getting kicked out, am I? That's it. <laughs> bye bye. This way. Oh, I got a hug. Oh. That's better. You don't stay long. No. What are you in a hurry to get home for? Because you're in a hurry to get rid of me. Well, I'll get the lady. <laughs> I can get out, George. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I can. Well, you watch. Look. See? Bye, you go. Off you go. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Hey, bye. George. I love you. Right. <laughs> Having that break has helped me to just be refreshed and to look at things from a different perspective. The thing I enjoyed most about the two weeks was that I just wasn't being called every five minutes. future for George and I right now is just to carry on the way we are. I'll be putting him in for respite at least twice a year for two weeks and he'll be going to Brian every second weekend and I think that that's um, important because it'll just give me that little bit of a break and it will help me to manage and cope so I'm not hitting the wall. I don't want to get to that point again. You're a hairy old goat, aren't you? No, I'm not what about you. You're a hairy old goat. No, you're a hairy old goat. Eh? Uh, hey? Yeah. Hairy goat? Yeah. I don't know. I put you in the retirement village for two weeks and you come out all hairy. More than nugget. More than nugget, am I? More than nugget. Oh, they got it. Woo! I didn't expect my life to be this way. 
as I get older, I think my life just shifts further and further away from that ideal that I had that it would be. I guess now I don't have ideals like I used to because it's easier just to go with the flow. Yeah, and so if you'd have told me when I was 25 that, you know, I'd be looking after an old dementia sort of man, you know, I would have laughed in your face and thought that's just ridiculous. But he's still my little teddy bear and I wouldn't swap him for anything. I think you better have a shower. Who? You. Put him back here. No, you. Yeah, Thank <laughs> you.